Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, we're going to be doing different Thomas and Friends character quizzes. Because when I did this one, come on. As you can see, I got Emily. And I was wondering, oh, wait a second. Sorry. I wanted to try some other quizzes because I was wondering, Mal, can I deal with your dog? Um, I was wondering, um, would I get Emily on the same, on different quizzes, or would I get someone completely different? Because you saw in my last quiz video, I got Thomas, if I remember correctly. I honestly don't remember. I'm going to have to watch that video again. But, um, I thought we'd do a few different character quizzes with different questions. See if I still get Emily, if I get someone completely different. So, let's get started. And we are starting with this one. Apparently, they label it to, um... Engines by their personality. Like, I'm um, sorry. <laughs> TV's... Yeah. Um, anyways. I thought we would... I'm going to start with this one. Because, again, it labels you by personality from which engine you are from 30% to, like, 0%. And then 15 and 20 and so on. So, let's get started. What is your favorite color? Um, other. Next question. All right. What would you, logo would you have... On your side, if you weren't from Sodor. Hmm. Uh, probably none. Next question. Come on. Why is my tablet being stupid today? If you could pull anything, what would you pull? I don't mind. Whatever Sir Topham Hat says I should pull. Because honestly, for me, I just like, let's get the job done. Where would you like to go in your spare time? Um, Timoth. Oh, wait, wait. Would I? Yeah, my friends would be there, so yeah. What type of engine would you be? Steam tram. Steam tram. Oh, jeez. Um, tank engine, tender, tender engine. That are, oh, wait. Uh, yeah, tender engine. I can go back and change it out. How are you described by the other engines? Hard worker, duh. Uh, but who would your best friend be? Uh, Philip, Percy, Diesel, James, or Oliver? I'd give James a shot. Because let's, I, I kind of, I understand what James goes through. Uh, I have to say it would be um, going too fast off in the bend and derailing. But I do love these kind of quizzes. I just really want to see if I get Emily at the same time before I just get someone different every time. I, I'd like to know. A new engine arrives and starts talking to you. What do you do? Let them run your branch line. Um, I don't like any of these answers at all. I, I'm a fast reader, yes, but they're all mean. Like, let them run your branch line. Tell them to sh shut up and go away. Shut trucks into them without when they're not looking. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Actually, it's not that bad. Look uh, at them up and down suspiciously. I tell my friends. Be like, hey guys, there's this new engine. Why do we go? Welcome them to Zodor. Okay. Your next day is a cold... Your next train is a cold train. What do you do? Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Okay, test results. I'm 40% Ryan? No way! Ryan! Oh, that is cool. All right, 40% Ryan. You are Ryan the Purple Engine from the Great Northern Railway. You prefer trucks to coaches to trucks and run Harquick Branch Line with Daisy the Diesel Rail Car. Any opportunity to pull a freight train is very exciting. I honestly didn't think of that. Okay, ooh, there's more. You are 30% Philip. Ooh. Um, you're a cheeky green diesel box car. That runs Natford Yard. You are new to the island, but you are friends with most engines. And you're excited engine rushing down, showing your speed, shunting skills. One thing I love about Philip is he never shuts up. Like me, I sometimes talk too much and never shut up. 20% Duck, the great western engine. Ooh, cool. And 10% Sc What? I'm 0% James, but 10% Flying Scotsman. What? I, I did not expect that, honestly. Uh, sorry, canker sore. Um, you are 10% Flying Scotsman, 
you despise any trucks you see, any coaches in the station, you are immediate to pulling, showing your brand cream paint, two tenders. I keep forgetting the Scotsman has two tenders. Why does he have two tenders? I never understood why the Scotsman has two tenders. What? I mean, I remember that, but I, I never understood why he needed two of them. And you are proud and kind of caring at the same time. Well, I'm excited. I, I liked those answers, you know? That, that was fun. All right. Let's see what else is there. Um, okay, which one was that? Was this Quote TV? I, uh, all the test.com. Okay. So now let's do this one, Quote TV. Oops, I forgot to open it. Oops. Okay, give me a second. I just have to re-add that. Open new tab. There we go. Oh, so one quiz says I'm Emily. One says I'm Ryan. All right, what's the next one? What is your favorite color? Oh, shit. Um, blue, green, red, or brown? Um, I'll go blue on this one. How would your friends describe you? Again, it's always going to be hardworking for me. There's a train stuck in a ditch. Where are you in this situation? Saying kind words of comforting to train. Using my strength to help the train out. I'm the one who got the train in the ditch in the first place. Diesel. <laughs> I'm too sick to be any of help. I'm on my way to get Sir Topham Hat to help the train. I'm the train that's in the ditch. Um, I would be the person saying comforting words. Be like telling them, it's okay. You're going to be fine. You're going to be okay. I, I would just be trying to calm them down. Or I'd be the engine stuck in the ditch. I'd be one of those two. <laughs> it's true. I would be. Uh, wait. <sighs> Stupid. Um, your friend got the job you wanted. How do you feel? Honestly? I've been through that with school. And honestly, I do not like how I reacted as a kid. Um, I'd probably be a little jealous. But I would hide my emotions and be happy for them. Your friend is in trouble. What do you do? Um, want to help them but don't know. Play a trick on them. Talk to them with, and reason with them. Want to help them but don't know how. Think about a wise way to solve the problem. Use your strength and might to help them. Uh, I would use my strength and might to help them. I'm not that strong, but I, I would try to help. I, I help people. You're having a race with other engines. What place are you in? I'm not really good at racing. <laughs> so, I would probably be last place. I'm sorry. I, I, I never was in first place in any races that I remember being in. Your friends are angry with you. Why? I'm old and slow. I'm too small to be of any use. I don't know, but I better apologize. I'm too arrogant to win. They didn't like being teased by me. I do tease people at times, but I don't say anything offensive when I tease them. Like, I don't try to hurt their feelings when they're in a bad situation is what I'm trying to say. I guess I would be too small. I, I guess that's the one I would go with. You've been given a new job. How do you feel eager and ready to get started? Oh! Two for two, like on the first one, I got Thomas! Oh, that's awesome! Thomas had never seen such a mess. All right. I like you. I like. All right. Let's do a few more. Okay. I've done these so many times. I don't even know which ones I have done and which ones I haven't done anymore. All right. Which spe what special Thomas and Friends character are you? Ooh. Why do I like the sound of that one? The reason I'm saving these links is so I can add them, the links to the description below of my video so you guys can try them as well. I'm surprised all the options I'm getting. Thomas? Ryan? Emily? This is so fun. All right. We still have time. All right. What is your age? Ooh, what a feeling this is personal information. I don't see anything wrong with it. So I'm about, um, I'm 22, so I have to say 18 to 24. Ugh. Female. Wait, does this... What is this? Um, 
what special Thomas and Friends character are you? Does it just take everything in your personality and tell you which character you are? Apparently it says, there are many Thomas and Friends characters appear in the special Thomas and Friends feature. Oh! Oh, in the feature film! Sometimes a few episodes, but only three of those characters made it here. Oh! Do you have the personality of one of these trains? Okay, so this is based on my... Oh, okay. I, I didn't even realize this is what's about the feature films. I, I love the films. I have, like, a big stack of DVDs if you had not seen. Okay. You're out to buy groceries. You find a homeless man sitting at the store. You... I give him all my money and just, like, I, I go grocery shopping another time. I, I'd be like, I'll be fine for a few days. Well, yeah, I just, that would be me. I'd be like, I'm sorry, Mom, I couldn't get what we needed. And she'd probably be mad, being like, why? I told you to do one thing. And I'd be like, I gave all the money to a homeless person. And she'd be happy about that. Because, you know... It, it was for a good cause. Our family likes to give money to the poor if we need to. If we ha if we need to. And we love helping people. Me and my family. Pick a symbol that stands for you. Golden heart, regular fancy heart, barbed wire. Golden heart. I'm sorry. I, I love gold. <laughs> that doesn't make me sound like a rude person. I just, I, I've always loved the gold color. I, I don't know why. Choose a TV show you like. Shopping channel, A Thousand Ways to Die. No, thank you. Um, either in the shopping channel. I love shopping. I love shopping. And that's why. Like, I literally love shopping so much. I almost run out of money in my bank account at times looking for Thomas stuff. And I don't mind that, but I need to save money for my YouTube premium, my phone bill. And so I am doing better. My mom and I came up with a plan. And we're hoping to put that into action this week. So, I'm back to square one, but, you know, I, I'm going to do better. I, I am going to do better, and I'm trying to be more independent with my life. So, pick a song. Concrete, con yeah, Concrete Angels, Martina McBride, Wannabe, Spice Girls, Bloodline, Death Clock. I have to go Wannabe. No, not that one. Wannabe. The vending machine is calling. I can't. I can wait. I must be tempted. I'm being tempted. I want to explode that thing. I can wait. Because we, yeah, I, I just, I can wait. I, when I see a vending machine and I don't have change, I'm like, oh, I'll just wait till next time. The perfect Valentine's Day gift for your sweetheart. Um, chocolate, hearts, and roses, a beautiful poem. Anything he likes. Like, I would get him, I have a boyfriend, and I would get him anything. Like, uh, the one thing I know he likes is um Doctor Who, and um, I know he likes um Doctor Strange, so I would get him one of those things, um something Cyberman related, if anything to Doctor Who. But yeah, no, that's just that's just me. That's me. That's what I would get my boyfriend. Let me know in the comments below again which engine do you think with my personality, um do you guys think I am? Um, you always wanted to be this when you grew up. Uh person working at a nursing home, a fashion designer, an outlaw in the Old West. Okay, well, I never wanted to do that. I always remember I wanted to be a fireman when I grew up, but that never happened because I realized what happens to them, like how they could sometimes die from that. And I wanted to live a long life, and I was, and I love all our firefighters, but for some reason when we went to the fire station, um, with my autism, it scared the crap out of me. And literally... Um, Let's just say we got to go in, like, the... And this was when I was in elementary school. We got to go, like, in this, um... You know the thing on the trucks where they lift it up to put out an apartments where there would be, like, something to go up in to lift for fires? I didn't want to do it at first, but my teacher was willing to go with me, and I did it. And it was just... It was fun, but it did really scare me, the sirens. And this was back then when I couldn't handle certain noises. Now, I don't even cover my ears with the sirens, um... Though sometimes I do when I'm in the city when it's really loud. But, yeah, no, it doesn't bother me as much as it used to. So, but I would have to say a person at a nursing home. Your motto is doing what's right, be yourself, rule the world. Uh, do what's right. Um, what color is your hair? Um, I think it's like a dirty blonde, so I'll go with that one. 
Your eye color is green. All right. Did I get it? I'm hero. Oh, man. 80% I'm hero. 61% I'm lady. Oh. Well, now we... I wonder. I wonder if they have the magic of a magic of the railroad quiz. I'm wondering. Oh. Sorry, I, I hate when it gets quiet. But apparently it says you are known to be enormously kind and dignificant, and people love you for that. You even care for those who hate you. That's actually true. People who get hero are known not to hold any grudges. Ah, that's kind of like, yeah, I can't see me holding grudges, but I can't believe I'm 61% lady. Now I want to see, um, new tab. I actually want to see if they have a Magic of the Railway quiz, because I'd like to see if I'm either Lily or Lady, because... I didn't even think of that until they showed that. Okay. Hang on. Thomas and friends. Magic of the railroad. Oops. I cannot spell for crap. Road. Quiz. I actually would like to see if there's a quiz for that. Uh, okay, how about Tom Railroad? Come on, there's gotta be something. Character quiz. Railroad character quiz. I actually like to see. Oh, is there just no way to find out? Oh, that sucks. They need to have a Magic of the Railroad quiz. That really sucks. I really, really wish they had a Magic of the Railroad quiz because, like, character quiz, because then you could find... Wait. I think I might have found it. Thomas and Friends, Magic of the Railroad trivia quiz. Apparently, it's everything on the movie. Let's do it. Uh, sorry if it got silent. I'm like, let's do it. Oh, I love these. Okay. All righty. Let's see. There are two quizzes of them. Um, Thomas Magic of the Railroad Twin Questions or Thomas the Tank Engine Magic of the Railroad 5. Let's do the one with 10 questions. Take the quiz. I would I, I would like to see if I remember. Because I loved that movie growing up. Okay. Who comes to visit her grandfather? Lily. Duh. <laughs> um, when, who is counting on Thomas to ride at the station? Gordon. Um, where does Burnett Stone live? Muffle Mountain. Um, who makes sneezing powder fly around the sheds? Oh, oh, um, it, it's not, wait, around the sheds, um, wasn't it Harold? If I'm right, it was Harold. He was taking off, and they, if I remember, that's what happened. What, what does Mr. Conductor pull from the box of flower food? Wasn't it a... No, no. Um, glass of water, ice cream cone, rainbow. Um. Wasn't it a sandwich? I thought it was a carrot at the time. No, I'm thinking of something else. What kind of phone does Junior use? A shell phone. Shell phone. Eh, eh, get it? <laughs> what does Mr. Conductor make before he goes to bed? Warm milk, if I remember correctly. Um, who knows Burnett Stone's secret workshop? Isn't it Patch? It's gotta be Patch. If I remember, it's Patch. Because Thomas didn't show up for a while. Mr. Conductor had no idea. And, or was it, oh, Lily. I, I didn't even think of that. No, wait. Lily had no idea. She didn't find out until she got to Sodor. She kind of had no idea. Not even that, like... Yeah, no, it had to be Patch. Because Patch, I, I could only see Patch being the one who knew. Because even at the beginning of the movie, he would go down to that area, and that's where you would find Lady. Now I want to find that DVD! Oh, now I want to find the DVD of Thomas Magic of the Railway. What did the visitor make for her grandfather? A friendship bracelet, I remember. Who keeps looking, who keeps a lookout at the buffers for the Magic Railroad? It was Thomas. It had to be. I, I, if, if I'm wrong, then I'm, I'm going to be upset. Oh, right, right. An ice cream cone? I don't remember that. 
Mr. C's feeding the flower in the hanging basket. Oh, the hanging basket! Oh! I I thought I I wasn't thinking. I I was thinking of Oh, wow. I was I was stupid. I was stupid. Hot chocolate. Okay, two wrong. That three Percy Thomas tells Percy to watch the buffers for Splatter and Josh. Ah, okay, so three wrong. That's not bad. Again, I haven't watched the movie in a long time. I'm having trouble finding the DVD, but yeah. Actually, I wonder if the microphone will allow me to work. I really want to see if I'm lady. Hang on. Oh, well, but that was fun. That one was fun. Uh, continue. Uh, cancel. Um, okay, just close that one then. But, yeah, no, um, we will do one more. How long? We've been on this for 20 minutes now. Okay. Oh, this has been my longest video, and I'm actually very proud of it. Um, I guess we'll stop there for today. Um, thank you for watching, everybody. Um, let me know in the comments below, which engine do you think I am? This is K-Bear 100 and signing out.